Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know I look like poop right now, but for those of you that don't know, I do have secondarily generalized seizures and I had one right before filming this and that's why this is being filmed at such a late time. And that's why I have this weird grind down my face. Also, why my makeup looks messed up. So, just wanted to get that out of the way. I know that those of you that do know me know that I have seizures, but I just wanted to get that out of the way. I was gonna do the how I did my makeup in high school challenge, but I decided against it because of it being so late. So, we're gonna be doing a review on the Makeup Forever Artist Lip and Brush Set. The packaging looks like this. It's just a, it's a tin can. It did come in a box, but Y'all know I'm really, really bad at opening things. I hadn't opened it beforehand. Um, and I did prime my lips beforehand as well. Let's just get right to it. Hopefully my boyfriend doesn't come home and ruin my video. It looks like this on the inside. So it just comes with like a little pot of lipstick and also a brush. I was reading reviews and I saw a lot that said the, that the brush felt cheap. So we're gonna test that out. Again, I suck at opening things. So. so it does feel a little cheaper than most of the Makeup Forever brushes do, but whatever. Of course, I got lip brushes other than this, so it's not like it really matters. It's also a little big, though. Like, look at that. <laughs> like, well, I'm gonna get my hair up so that my hair doesn't get a lipstick, and then we're gonna try this. Okay, so this is what the pot looks like, but cool. We just spill it everywhere. It smells. Chemically? It smells weird. Weird. Oh. oh. I definitely just got it on my nose. Yeah, it does not smell good. I'm a little confused on how this brush is supposed to fit in here. Here we go. Did it get on the brush? I can tell it's so liquidy. Okay, yeah, it's definitely on the brush. It's just super, like, it's not thick whatsoever. It's super liquidy. Like, you can barely tell it's on the brush, but the brush is entirely soaked in it. I'm trying to scoot up a little bit. Alright. Yeah, now you can see the light on my face. Psst. Here we go. What is on my mouth? Probably mascara. Still a little shaky, so this is actually really difficult. Okay. It's super watery. This stuff is so watery. And once it's there, it's there, so... It's like super hard to move this brush around. I feel kind of like Miranda Sings right now. Let that sink in. It is a really pretty color. It's just, it's, it's super watery and I just, I don't feel like this is worth the price point. I want to say this is $24 for that, for this. Yeah, it was supposed to have been $32 and I got it on sale for $24. Either way, my Maybelline lipsticks are better than this. Less thoughts on it. I love the color. Um, it's not sticky. It dries fairly quickly, which kind of sucks because the brush is so big that it, once you hit that spot, like if, if you're trying to do like a little bit of line, it's like all over your face. Either way, the color is really pretty. It dries very quickly. I just I don't think it's worth the price point. But if you do want to get this, I found it on Sephora. I'm just looking for random things. I saw it and I was like, sure, why not? My back is itching. So, anyway, that's all I have for you guys. This is Makeup Forever, 
and I love you guys so so much and I'll see you in my next video if you would like to see the how I did my makeup in high school video comment down below let me know and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to just to, to subscribe <laughs> my, my words still don't want to work I love you guys so much and follow me on Instagram I'll, I'll leave it in the description this time instead of putting it like across the screen just comment down below what you want to see next and love you guys so so much and still have red on my pinky. Transfer is intense!